Hello everyone and welcome to another English with Joseph, noted to Dubois. It's Christmas. Happy Christmas everyone. Uh, I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, I want to show you what I prepared for Christmas dinner. Uh, it's already four o'clock. So I'm just, I've been preparing all day. So I've just finished and I'm going to show you what I've done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to bring from the fridge is that are this okay let's have a look at it so you can see my salad tomato caprizza here this is basically tomatoes mozzarella and basil and I've kind of sandwiched them you can see around the plate this here is tofu cooked in ginger and soy sauce although when I was cooking I forgot the ginger so finally it became garlic and soy sauce, which is just as nice, just as nice, delicious actually. And on the top here is some chopped garlic. So to prepare this tofu, what I did was I simply chopped it up. Uh, I made a little sauce of a simple soy sauce and then some, uh, what else did I put in it? Simple soy sauce some garlic, some honey, and some brown sugar. I forgot the ginger, okay? And I put the tofu in it, and I left it for 15 minutes. You don't want to leave it too long. And the reason for that is because if you leave it too long, the taste becomes a bit too strong, okay? So I left it for 15 minutes, and then I fried it in a drop of oil. While it was frying, I took the sauce that it was marinating in and I added some corn flour. You know, corn flour is that thing that makes things thick. You know, corn flour. I'll show you what it's like. Corn flour. Okay, so basically, the toffee was marinating in a sauce that I'd made. I cooked it in a little drop of oil, then added the sauce into it after mixing it with some corn flour and that was the result. It's delicious. It's such a pity about the ginger, but there we are. Next, I made some potatoes, you can see there. Now basically these are just usual boiled potatoes, but then I mashed them, adding butter and milk. And then uh, once I'd done that, I added some parsley and mixed it all up. Uh, then I fried some artichoke. Now, I don't know if you know what artichoke is, maybe you recognize it there. So, I basically um, mashed that. After frying it, I mashed that into the potatoes as well. And these are two I left on the top just for decoration. Artichoke. There we are. And that's it. And next, and finally, I'm just about to cook this chicken. She very big woman, huh? Big woman. Chicken. Yeah. So... Uh, this chicken is going to be cooked using a herb called rosemary and basically what I've done is I've made uh, a little uh, paste for the chicken so uh, there's rosemary in here, there's garlic in here as well as butter and lemon zest although I actually used lime and I'm going to rub up the chicken with this under the skin and then I'm going to cook the chicken in my Ninja for uh, probably around an hour and 10 minutes because that's what it said for an ordinary oven. Okay, so I'm just going to massage the chicken, shove the lime in its rear side, and then I'm going to leave it to, uh, to, um, to cook. And that's me, and then dinner will be ready probably at Four o'clock now. I have a Skype call with the ladies in Brazil at five. So I guess we'll be eating at six. So there we are. Love you all. Enjoy your day.